Welcome to Animal Crossing City Folk for Nintendo Wii. I thought with Animal Crossing coming out for Nintendo Switch in a couple short months at the time of my recording this, I thought I would jump into the last console Animal Crossing game if you haven't played it. This was a blast. It came out in 2008 and my myself and my spouse, we played this for like six years straight. So first off, we meet Rover. This dude's awesome. Always love Rover. Alrighty, sorry to keep you waiting. I heard you were moving in, so I came to get you. Nice, huh? Thank you, Rover. I appreciate that. Life on your own. I know that's exactly what you're thinking right now. Nobody to tell you what to do. Free to live exactly as you please. Sign me up. Oh yeah, a new house. A new neighborhood. Some new friends. A fresh new start. And a whole world of possible encounters await. I mean, how sweet is that? Really sweet, Rover. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, we're on, we're on the same page, buddy. You and I are best friends. So come on. Are you ready to start fresh? To grab a new bull by his horn, new horns and start a new adventure? We can also move your life. No, I, I want to start fresh. No DS shenanigans. I'm right there with you. I mean, you're starting a whole new life. And what better way to start than with a sparkling fresh canvas? Yes, waiter. Give me some of that. Yikes. The bus is going to be here any second, boy. Time sure flies on me yammering. Let's go. So Animal Crossing is all about coming into a new town, starting a new life as you hear, and just hanging out with villagers, doing little quests, building up your town, planting, fishing. You're going to see. It's 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 a great stuff. One of my favorite series. Just made it, Rover. Whoa, Rover, you're freaking out. I didn't know you were right there. I didn't... Why are you just staring? You're so happy. The first step in starting your new life is getting on the bus. If you don't mind my me asking, is it December 14th, 2019, and is it 10.51 a.m.? Yeah, I'm looking at the clock right now, Rover. I think that's right. That's definitely right. Sweet. So, um, yeah, I was about to ask what your name was. I'm gonna go with... Let's go with Wally. And I like that spelling. Definitely. Wally, is it? Nice name. I like it. Uh, it is very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's masculine, just like you. Uh, I'm not a boy. No, sure, I'm a boy. I know. Wally, this town that you're moving, what is it called? Hmm. We are going to call it... Funville. He is everything. And can I spell my own city town name? Funville. Funville, that's it. So fun though, gotcha. That place is really lovely. It's it's a lot of fun, Rover. You must be so excited about your new life there. I am so excited. I hear that. Listen, you know where your house is. Uh, I'll find one. Don't worry about it, Rover. Figure you'll tumble onto one once you get there. You're in luck. The housing market in Funville is booming. There are new houses popping up everywhere. If you're looking for a place, I guess you have some money. Uh, I'm broke. I'm broke as a joke. Seriously? Well, I'm sure everything will work out. <laughs> you think so, Rover, but I know who's waiting for me. The folks in Town Hall can always help you out. Check this out. All right, so Town Hall is the blinky, pinkish, purple thing in the top right corner. Uh, man, there's a museum, a gate. There's a lot of stuff in this game if you don't even know. You don't even know. It's a map of fun mill. Go on, take it. When you get to town, use this to find Town Hall. Next stop, Captain says. Funville. Yeah, we'll get a chance to see each other get a rover. Oh, yeah, Captain's probably one of my favorite. I have his amiibo just staring at me right now while I play this. He's kind of creepy. But he's creepy in the best ways. He has the best songs. If you ever played the GameCube version of Animal Crossing, you know he's, uh, would... What was it called? He was the boatsman that would take you to the island. Okay, Rover goes on and says, head on over to Town Hall before you do anything else. So here we go. This is our starting our life in Animal Crossing City Folk. We're going to go run around. I mean, I can't wait for the Nintendo Switch version to come out. To open the map, point the Wiimote at the screen and select the house from the menu with A. Alright, so this is Animal Crossing. Straight off the bat, who cares about uh, City Hall? I'm going to go ahead and pick up these peaches, I believe. And all you have to do is run over to a tree and shake it with the A button of the Wiimote. And if you stand still, you'll get the time will pop up on screen and what the item is. So that's definitely a peach as I predicted. You can point at the screen and you're going to have to do that a lot in this game. Let's see, there's my, my inventory. Uh, nice. Bunch of peaches. What do, we, what do we have going on here? How to use it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to use that. Town Hall. Let's step inside. Let's see what's going on. Who's going to... Who's going to meet us? Who's going to greet us? 
Who are you? Pelly? Oh, are you Wally, the boy who just moved here? Welcome to Funville. My name is Pelly and I work here at the Town Hall. No need to dilly-dally, let's take a look at where you'll be living. All the mobile houses in Funville are the same size and price, but we only have four left. Alright, so pick the place that suits me. Well, I always like to pick places that are close to the majority of the stuff going on, so I may just pick that one. That one's pretty cool, right by the bridge, not too far away from either. These two are definitely too far away from, from my liking. I'm too lazy to be running all the way back down over here, but does, you know, it's next to the museum. However, I might just pick right in the middle. Yeah, let's do that. Da -da 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 -da. That's the one I want. All right. So I guess I actually have to go and visit my house. Yeah, I know how to open that. Oh, no. Thank you, Pelly. Uh, I appreciate all your work, hard work that you've done over the years. Oh, this is cool. This is a fishing tournament going on today. Ah, oh, if I had a shovel, I could dig up. I could dig this up. But uh, let's not dilly dally, as they say. Let's go check out where we need to go. So there I am, and that is my house that I want. And then afterwards, we're going to have to go find this one dude, this one sly fella, Tom Nook. He's going to take a lot of our money for the foreseeable future. Oh, how does our new house look like? Oh, it's so barren. I love how the candle is like an electronic lamp. You just turn it on or off. I don't know if that's how candles really look at, work in real life. And of course, I have no music. There's no music in the stereo. No, how sad. Give me music. No, no, no. We got to wait every Saturday. There's going to be a naked dog playing a guitar and... He'll definitely give us music every week. And this game is as strange as that sounds. Now, now that we have our house picked out, if that's the one I want, it's again in the middle town. Barry, that's not that's not the dog. That is Tom Nook. He's the guy that's gonna swindle us for the next pretty much eternity. Hello, Tom Nook. You must be Wally. I am, good sir. I've been hearing so much about you. Welcome to Fun Mill. My name is Tom Nook, and I run a shop here in town. I like how they're say he's saying, welcome to Fun Mill. And I'm the one that named this town. I look forward to your patronage here. So, was the house, mm, you like it? I am, I am like it. Good, good. So you'll be buying this house. I'll take it. Well then, that decides it. From now on, this is your house, Wally. And think of that stereo inside as a movie in gift. Couldn't sell it anyway. As you're gonna learn, Tom Nook is a very cheap fellow, but you know, he's he's in business. He's gonna try to make as much profit as possible, which brings us to the next point. Did you see the attic? Where you're doing, done playing, excuse me, in Funville, make sure you go to sleep in the bed in the attic. You'll be able to remember the things that you did. Basically, you just save up there. That's all what he says. Don't forget it, it's crucial. But you can also save anywhere on the on the on in the game world, and that's pretty easier. I have to suppose you don't want to repeat uh, it all in case you miss something. No, that's okay. Yes, yes, you'll figure it out in time. Now we need to broach the delicate issue of payment. This is what I was getting to. So, um, there's the land, building, taxes, surcharges, various fees. So the toll of the house is 19,800 bells. I have to accept it. Because what else am I going to do? I'm not going to, you know, sleep in this river or on that bridge. That's good to hear. I will appreciate it if you pay by money transfer. If you don't mind, I'll let you know the details later. There is something more important than selling the house. That is, how do you plan on making a living? You see, this is a business for me. I, I told you. I told you Tom Nooks is a businessman. So I expect you to pay off that loan eventually. Yes, yes, yes. I know, Wally, you can work for me part-time at the shop for a little while. I'm feeling like this is indentured servitude. I don't even have really a choice. I can teach you how to make money, show you around town, two birds with one stone. If I said no way, he's gonna goad me into it anyway. Very good, it's decided. Well, I can't leave the shop unattended forever, so let's get down to brass tacks. So why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town and make especially sure you introduce yourself to the mayor. He should be in town hall, don't forget it. I'll go get some work ready for you, just come to the shop and when you're ready. Yeah, I can look at the map and get out of my way, Tom Nook. I'll push you around. You're kind of a bully, I'll bully you back. No, I'm joking. Tom looks awesome. I like that, look at him, he's so cute. Look at this fish right here. So, uh, sooner or later, I will get a fishing rod. I'll be able to grab these and fill up my fishing uh, list. And if we go down to Bucks and Fish, 
we can see all the ones that I caught, and there is a lot in this game. They go through all the seasons, and oh yeah, by the way, it's winter right now. You have to play this Animal Crossing games all year long, because you can get different fish and bugs. So just, uh, when you're entering or playing the Switch game, or 3DS, or you're going back and playing the GameCube, or this Wii City Folk, be prepared to play it, like, all year long for a couple of years. Like I said, we played this game for uh, six years straight. So here is the mayor. Tortimer. I'm a whippersnapper. <laughs> While well, I'm asking questions, what is your favorite animal? I'm gonna go for turtle for your turtle. Oh, I like the cut of your jib, young man. We'll get along just fine. What were we talking about again? We're talking about how you're gonna give me 20,000 bells so I can pay for my home? That's our newest resident, Wally. What's that? Come to think of it, I did hear something about that. Who can remember? I am the mayor of Funville, Turtlemore, and at any rate, you should come see me on holidays and other events. I'll be waiting for you in the square in front of the town hall, yes, waiting and watching like a creepy old man, apparently, or Santa Claus. But Santa Claus is kind of a creepy old man, right? I don't know. I'm happy to hear if you finalize your paperwork on your new house. Feel free being a homeowner, and speaking of debt, I am making it so you can use the ABD, so please come back later. Is this the ABD? Welcome. You are not registered as a client. Thank you for stopping by. Automatic business design. That's the recycling bin. Sometimes you can find cool items in there. Hopefully they bring that back for the Switch version. I will be very happy if they do. Getting free items that you can sell or wear or put in your house. It's always a great time. All right, so we have a mission. And that mission is to meet everyone in town. Now if we go jump out and look at the map, uh, we have Chester, Tipper, Angus, Goldie, Ruby, and Goose. So let's start knocking on people's houses, not waiting for them to answer, just walking in like we're thieves in the night. Or thieves in the morning. It is only, a uh, ten-something. Who are you, cute little doggy? Goldie? Oh, good morning. You're not, you're the boy who just moved into town, aren't you? Woof. It's nice to meet you. I'm Goldie. You probably see me around a lot, so if you have any problems, just come up and let me know. Well, Goldie, uh, if I do can call you that, I'm gonna sit down. Uh, I have a problem with paying, oh, hold on. I have a problem with paying my debt, and I need some money. If you can loan me it, I will be happy because this dude named Tom Nook is after me. Goldie, Goldie, come here. How are things going? Do you feel things the funnel will work out for you? If you think it will help, I can share a little info how things work. Go on. Have you been noticing all the trees that have fruit on them? If you want to get some fruit down, just press the A button near a tree and give it a shake. You can pick them up by pressing B. You can eat or sell them. You can also bury fruit and hope it grows another tree. I love seeing the whole town filled with fruit trees of all different kinds. If I get hungry, it's like I have nature's own buffet right in front of me. Goldie, I think you and I are going to be pals forever. You like eating, I like eating. Damn, we're friends. Best friends. All right, Goldie down. Let's move on to the rest of the town before. I just want to pick these trees. Pick them, pick them, pick them. Abel sisters, I remember you. You allow me to make designs. Hey there, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of Able Sisters. I am Wally. What can I do for you? Nope, I guess maybe I don't need to meet them. Maybe I just need to meet the townsfolk, not the regulars. Okay, Sable doesn't like me. Get out of my way, Mabel. This is always one of my favorite shirts, this little one with the chick on it. Uh, it's pretty cool, green and yellow. My favorite color is blue, but that green and yellow design just looks... It's just awesome. Alright, so... It's still only one down. What do we have up here? This is just the other house that we can live in. Check out the name. Gooses. No, this is Goose. Hopefully the goose is not loose. Let's hope that the goose is inside the home. Hello, good sir. I heard there was a new face in town. I see it's your face. It is, fellow. Nice to meet you. My name's Goose. So you can call me Goose. Okay, that's a funny nickname, Goose. Your name's Wally. Good name. It's got a solid ring. To that's it. I don't think we're going to be good friends. Let's double up and talk to you anyway. Sup, Wally? Oh, I do like how you say sup. You got a question rather around in that melon that you want to ask me? Teach me. Have you taken a good look at the stuff for sale in Tom Nook's shop? If you're going to make it here in Funville, then you're going to need some of that. Then you can dig a hole and bury a big, juicy fruit. I'm going to need a shovel. That's what he just said. I skipped it. And another thing, I've heard rumors of buried treasure in Funville. Ooh. If you want to be a bajillionaire, thanks to my awesome tips, buy me some fried dough. Alright, Goose. You're, you're a strange one. You're a weird one indeed, but you are my neighbor now, and just like in real life, I have to go and meet every single one of my neighbors. There's my quick button. The plus button on the Wii Remote brings up the mat automatically. So we already met uh, Goose and Goldie, now we need Ruby, Angus, Tipper, and Chester. So we met them two. 
We just need to go all the way down there. See, I guess if I lived there, I would be closer to those townsfolk, but in this game, the townsfolk will come and go. They will leave you, get new ones. There are ways to kind of keep the townsfolk uh, with you. You know, to treat them nicely, give them gifts, uh, do quests for them, do their errands. Man, this game is just so peaceful. Let's bring me back. Are you Ruby? Are you fishing? Tipper? Oh no, oh you are, you're the new neighbor. You must be, since I know everything about everyone here, and I don't know you. What's your name? Wally, is it? This is small town, so news of someone new. Moving in spreads quickly. I should know, I spread it. Okay, so Tipper is our resident gossip. My name's Tipper, it's nice to meet you, Pushy. And also, every single character in this game will have... They will say something at the end of their sentences, so Tipper says, Pushy, you're Pushy. What's the matter, Wally? Something to do with life here in town, perhaps? What do you have to say? By the way, what will you do to make money? I'm more of a spender, but I do have some tips for you. Uh, pick fruit, catch fish, bugs, gather shells. That's how you earn cash. Then sell it at Tom Nook's shop. Stick by me, and you'll find a you'll fund a posh lifestyle. Well, I don't know if I want a po uh, posh lifestyle tipper. I mean, nice and easy, nice and slow. Ooh! Oh my gosh! You just got moved in here and stuff. Well, great yay in the morning, little ears. I hope I'm the first one to find you. By the way, they call me Ruby. <laughs> they call me Ruby. Hope to like see you around and stuff, little ears. Okay, so Ruby's probably my, my, my favorite so far, but Ruby's just a little weird. And look at... Hey, such, look at the house. Uh, hey, since you're all new and stuff, do you want some tips? I like how I'm being called little ears. Did you let everyone in town know that you moved in? You can totally send letters to the post office. Folks love getting letters. And if you send me a letter, you should attach a cool present. <laughs> you can just grab stuff from your pockets and put it in there. Easy, right? I'm totally looking forward to your letter. Oh my gosh, I don't want to give you a letter. I like how Ruby has a moon, a nice Valentine's Day uh, sofas. This is a very much outer space design with some milk buckets, I think. And of course, a bathtub. So Ruby, you're cool. Met Tipper. Goldie's pretty awesome. Uh, Goose is a little, 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 you know, a little different. Uh, Tipper is a, a little spread stuff, I can already tell. Chester, where, oh, you must be Chester. Chester's a panda? You must be Wally, who everyone's talking about. Welcome to Funville. My name is Chester. I'm always on lookout for someone who's up to baking cupcakes. We should get together and start a club that's all about napping, chowing down, and baking cupcakes. So, you know how I said, I love, I'm loving each, I'm loving each neighbor villager even better. Are you getting to know Fumble pretty well? If you ever have a question, you can ask me. What do you have to tell me, Chester? Do you like music? Rocking out? Getting down? Busting loose? Stuff like that? I love music. Whenever I'm in a good mood, I always hum to myself. Right now, I've got the town tune stuck in my head. It's pretty awesome. The town tune is basically Funville's theme song. You can make a new one in town all. Now, that's a really good feature of the Animal Crossing games. You can tailor a lot of things to your life. You can tailor how you look. Like, you already saw me going to the Able Sisters house. I can change my wardrobe. I can even go to the city and change... Uh, don't mind me, I'm going to grab these and sell these. But um, you can change your hairstyle in the city. You can change your town tune. You can plant trees. You can cut them down. You can do so many different things. I'm going to guess your name. You are Angus. You're on fire, aren't you, Angus? Yes, hello. I see you've also had your morning coffee. Couldn't get up without mine. I don't know you. Just move here. Call me Angus. If you need to know anything, just come over and ask me... Makamo? What did you say at the end of that? Uh, how would I like a few tips? Go ahead. A busting town is better than a ghost town, wouldn't you say? If I remember correctly, there are still still empty houses in town. If you got any pals in the outside world, you should let them know. We can always use new faces. Just go crazy and bite anyone you want to play. The more the merrier sort of guy. So, Macmu. Macmu, Macmu. Awesome. I like how the real world is called the outside world. I never realized that. So, but we met Chester, Tipper, Angus, Goldie, Ruby, and Goose. We met pretty much everyone here. Let's go into the museum just in case. Just in case we have to visit uh, whoever attends to this place. It is Blathers. You are a nice owl, aren't you, Blathers? I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Don't you know? In any case, allow me to welcome you to the Funville Museum. How may I assist you with nothing? To be honest, we have nothing on display, so come on and give us stuff. That's their shameful secret. 
This is the place that you're going to be able to donate fish, fossils, bugs, paintings, all the stuff that you collect in this game. You do have a goal. It is to fill up the entire museum. It is to get every single one of the songs. Now, you don't have to do those things, but those are always the goals I set out for myself and my family have set out while playing the different iterations of this game. I'm more of a relaxed approach. I want to design the things that I want to design, like my house, my room, as I go along. And then, of course, I'll go ahead and start fishing, start catching bugs, start planting trees, cutting down trees and replacing them. I mean, I do it all, <laughs> and it's up to basically the player, myself, you, in order to figure out, you know, what you want to do. It really is up to you. And this is cool. This is the bulletin board. You can see different notices. Right now, it's just the, you know, the pre-game notices. It's for posting announcements. Uh, you can write your own messages. This is really cool if you're playing with other family members or friends. Absolutely. Because they can post notes. And then you can go and check on them. So Animal Crossing has always been about communication. And not just with the villagers in the game, but with... Uh, other players that are playing it. I am lost right now. I'm trying to get to... Okay, got it. I am going the right way. I'm trying to get to Tom Nook's place, but I think I met everyone. But uh, yeah, this game's all about communication and, and playing with other people, or just sitting down and just listen to the music. So peaceful, right? Here's Nook's Cranny, small little shop on the west side of town. I think I met everyone. I hope he doesn't tell me I didn't. So you said hello to everyone? Try to remember everyone's names. That's not going to happen, Tom Nook. That should help you adjust to the new town. You're just about to start your exciting new part-time job? Very good. At first, I want you to change into your work clothes. Strictly speaking, what I mean by that is the uniform for part-time workers. Okay, so that's good. I don't at least have to buy that from you. Let me know when you're done changing. Uh, can you not look at me? This is private. This is private. Stop following me. I'm not going to steal anything. All right, so I'm gonna wear my work uniform. Sweet. And you know what? I'm going to eat this. Eat. Eat, boy, eat. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know who eats peaches like that, but uh, I guess I sure do. Look at me, look how snazzy I look. Mmm, in my nice new digs. I'm ready to go to work. Yes, that looks quite fitting on you. Now let's get to work. That's Hey, that's what I just said, Mr. Nook. The first thing I want you to do is plant these flower seeds at tree saplings outside of the shop. Sometimes brightening up the outside of your store is just a thing to pick up business. But wait, I guess you need the saplings and seeds to get started. I need to make sure you have enough for seven things. So this dude tell me I do not have enough for seven things. Okay, so that means I'm going to start doing some of my tricks. Tricks, you say? Yes, playing Animal Crossing for so long, I I am I think I'm kind of pro level, not maybe advanced pro, but this is what I'll do. Over here, we're just going to drop. No, 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 come on, come on. No, no, white scallop. I'll come back and pick up you fellas later. I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. That's all I need. I'll pick up those shells once I'm done with all the errands and working for Mr. Nook here. All right, nice. Looks like you dropped stuff. Very good. Hey, you know what I just did, didn't you? You know what I just did. Please pat them around the shop. I will let you know when I'm done, good sir. You can count on me. All right, let's check this out. We are going to plant that, plant that, plant that. My bad. My bad game. And then plant that. So you cannot plant things that are too close to shops and buildings. So for here, I want to plant the sapling. Uh, I don't want to put them too close. I do like my walkways. So let's plant this right here. Now, I'll probably get rid of them later anyway. It's all about having just so many fruit trees. But that's That gives so much money. Being able to take the fruit off the trees every couple of days. These saplings, I mean, you can shake them. Sometimes you'll get items and stuff. But I'm a fruit tree kind of person. You made it look nice and pretty out there. I had some misgivings, but I guess I must try to trust your decorating sense. Dude, 
Not only is Tom Nook, you know, he's gonna gouge us, he's also does not think highly of us. So, real work now? I can deliver a few things? And now I have to go to Ruby. So you know how they told us that we should remember who these people are? I don't. <laughs> I did not remember these people's faces, names, or anything. No, no, I know there's a tipper, a goose, a ruby. Let's bring up her map. Let's check out where Ruby lives. Ruby is... Was Ruby the... The rabbit? The one that kept on calling me Little Ears? Because first of all, that's kind of funny. The rabbit, because the rabbit has long ears and the rabbit, uh, you know, automatically knows I am a human. Hence, smaller ears. Oh, what always blew me, my mind away is like the little footprints uh, that I leave behind. See that? That's pretty cool. I do love this little small things. Alright, Ruby, I am here. Mr. Nook wants me to deliver this package for you. You are the rabbit. All right, Wally, how you been, little ears? Here's for you. All right, we have a two ruby package. A nice big leaf. Maybe you can chew on it. Like what? What are you doing making deliveries, little ears? Do you get a part-time job already? That's crazy, you're working really hard. It's totally great seeing someone working hard. So great, I'm gonna give you a present. A stove. Awesome, because I could not eat with just a candle uh, or and a stereo. Thank you. Alright, I'm good. I know how to open all that stuff. Just A button. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, when's my birthday? Whew. Alright. My birthday will be today. No. No, no. Uh, no. Clear. Clear. Clear, clear, clear. There it is. My birthday will be today. The day of starting. December 14th. Sweet. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, smart, Ruby. You were going to give me a present anyway, and then... Mm, I should have put my birthday for the next day. And I would have got so many birthday uh, well wishes. Anyway, that was the first job finished. Pretty much go back to Tom Nook. Check out what he has to say. Probably more deliveries. Going to Tom Nooks. Singing to the song. Gonna keep on delivering packages. For no money. Indentured server to you. You're back. Oh yes, back and you made the delivery. That was fast for your first job. You get things done in a flash. Let's move on to the next job. Direct mail. Write a letter to Chester. Quick thank you for being, uh, being coming to the store. Alright. Got it. I got this. You can trust me, Mr. Nook. Mr. Nook. Alright. Thanks for shopping, Chester. Thanks for shopping, Chester. Uh... No, no, no. We're not gonna yell at you. Thanks. About. Thanks. For... Shopping. Period. Haha. -ha. That is the most sincere letter I've ever I've ever written. Hmm. Oh, I so want to catch that little fishy. Oh man. I'm just remind remembering all the times I've, I run and I trample these flowers. If you run over the flowers, you will destroy them eventually. They don't have infinite life, these flowers. Just like in real life, you can't just keep them trampling over flowers. Alright, so, uh, oops. I actually can see it on the ground. Or the floor, look, look, look. Felly's working two jobs. I hope she gets a lot of pay for this. Send Mel. I want to send it in Funville. Uh, this is for Chester. I should have put some sort of, maybe a peach on it. Chester would have enjoyed that. I'll take them here. Do you have any other letters? No. And I don't know if you saw it, but you can send a letter to your future self. I always like when you go send mail. Future self. That's really cool. I'm not sure if that's in the 
a 3DS game. But it's always a cool feature. Like, I would send money to myself in the feature. So this is Animal Crossing uh, in a nutshell. It's just doing errands, running around, doing things for people. In the beginning of the game, it's a lot of tutorial work. Like, this is teaching me how to, do, you know, mail letters, plant stuff, pick up things, drop things, do errands for, for neighbors, meeting everyone, but then eventually it gets into that collect-a-thon collect nature. Did you send it out? Very good. That seemed to take a little too long. Hey, everyone in Pavel likes letters. I can even deliver a carpet. Alright. Gotta go to Mr. Angus. Macmoo? Okay, so he's creepy. He's like, don't take, um, basically the long route, detours. He's watching. Don't worry, Tom Nook. I'm gonna earn your creepy little crust. Uh, creepy little crust. Your, uh, creepy little trust. I just looked at the map and I already forgot it. Okay, so that's cool. I can stay on this in order to go up. Just keep running. Just keep running. Go into Angus's house. Awesome. I believe he was the one that was wearing that flame shirt. Fire. That's funny. Angus is wearing a fire shirt. That is some, uh, probably a nice sandwich. <laughs> Wally, is there something you want to talk to me about? Because I'm waiting, Macmoo. Here is your carpet, good sir. Can I have an Angus sandwich? Once I heard you were handling the delivery, I sort of expected I wouldn't see my stuff till tomorrow. No offense, it's just at your first job. You may not need something like this yet, but would you like one of my hand-me-downs? My old pastel dot rug. Uh, but it's yours. Oh man, for a small town shop owner, Tom Nook is ambitious. You change the stock every day. So basically, you keep on checking it every day. Start checking it now. Alright. Well, uh, everyone doesn't really have high expectations. That's what I'm getting from this. Tom Nook is watching me. People act like, you know, they're treating me with, was it, kids' gloves? Mr. Angus just straight up told me that he didn't think he was going to get this till tomorrow because I'm basically a lame -o. I'm not a lame -o. I'm experienced, okay? I know how to deliver letters and, and write and give things to people. I always, you know, I know how to borrow. I know how to borrow stuff. Welcome back. Looks like you're starting to get the knack of this, working for a living. Keep the good work. I need to deliver the watering can to Chester, and don't go using the customer's items. I will buy my own watering can. I can see it on the table behind you. Jeez, you are a... Man, you're a, not a Grinch. You're a... You're a penny pincher, dude. Alright. So, Chester it is. Always, first off. Look at the map. I am gonna kill that flower. I really am. I'm gonna kill all you flowers. Not on purpose. I'm sorry. Flowers are your friends, but I just love running. Alright, where's my where's my little there it is. The down slope in order to get the Chesters. So uh Chester no Tipper where's Chester? I'm trying to remember who Chester is. Oh Panda! <laughs> I gotta stop thinking of Chester as just Panda. Okay, here you go, Chester. I didn't use it. It's in one piece. Thanks for bringing it. I almost forgot. I have to thank you for something. You sent this to me, right? Yeah, I did. That's my handwriting. Everyone here loves getting letters. You're a letter show off and being popular. I'm not very good at keeping secrets. I like blabbing them to my friends. Don't include anything personal. See, so now we learn another thing. So Tipper straight up says, "Hey, I'm a I'm a blabbermouth. I, I, you know, I'm a gossip. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everyone about how you don't wash your underwear. That's what Tipper says. Then you know what uh, Panda just told me, Chester. I'm gonna blab your stuff if you send me stuff in the mail. <laughs> so basically, my secrets are not safe with anyone in this town. That's just great. I love my neighbors. All right, what do we have here? Is that the end of my jobs? Yeah, so let's see, next job we, I just remembered a bulletin board. Write an ad for the shop. But I can do the wording, but lots of people will see it. Okay. 
I'm gonna write Come to Nooks because he's a crook. Crook Nook. Crook Nook will uh, Crook Nook will swindle you out of your hard-earned bells. Nook's a bell snatcher. No, no. I'll be nice. I don't want this coming back to me. Nook is good. Uh, shop now. Shop now at TomNookWares.com. Nook is good. Shop now. Bam. I guess everyone in the town will see it. Everyone meaning me. I will go shop at Nook's now that I read the bulletin board. Come on, please be the last errand. I'm so ready to live my own life. To spread my wings. Did you write the message? Very good. So that means, please, you're done! Yes! All the odd jobs are finished. My part-time employment is gone, but my home loan, oof. I'm gonna need you to pay that back. In your part-time, you made 1,400 bells. Only 18, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get all that? Okay, I have to help people sell stuff, bring them here. I can pay off my uh, loan by going to the town hall. Good work. Don't forget to do all your shopping right here. Time to do a little jig. Come on. Let's do this. And dance. Dance, Wally. <laughs> Wahoo! We did it. I'm all done with work. Now I'm free. Everybody, the fishing tournament is going on. So sometimes you will get these notices notices plastered on the screen just telling us, you know, what the events are for the day. If there is an event, I do not have a fishing rod, so I cannot partake in the tourney. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode of Animal Crossing City Folk for Nintendo Wii. I just wanted to delve into how these Animal Crossing games usually start up. Now, each game is different. You play different roles in each game. Like in the 3DS, you were the mayor, but it's all about getting used to the town, going through these tutorials, because after all this, it becomes living and playing this game the way you want to play. And it's it's very cozy. It's very relaxing to play this after a long day, playing it hours on a weekend at night. There's always something going on in Animal Crossing. And with the Switch one coming in the horizon, I thought we'd just check out the last console Animal Crossing game. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video because I had a lot of fun playing it, revisiting some memories. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to you for listening to me ramble. And I'll see you in the next video.